Welcome, my dear viewers. Professor Arnachalam here for uh, Sairam Academy. So last video, we saw about uh, what are the um, problems that is happening with uh, the Scopus uh, uh, indexed publication and forgery is going on. Now we will see how to identify whether you are uh, the journal, destination journal, what you have selected is listed with Web of Science, PubMed, or Scopus. These are the three most standard uh, standardizing body. The PubMed is nothing but the browser for the Medline. Medline is actually the database in which your uh, journal is indexed. So you have to use the proper term is Medline. So first let us see uh, about the difficulty, which is most difficult if you see. Uh, Web of Science uh, has uh, once upon a time Science Citation Index and Science Citation Index expanded. So they had two uh, categories. Now they have uh, as uh, they have uh, synchronized them into one. So you have only one sign citation index expanded. This is one list of uh, uh, you know, one list of journals uh, under the web of science. The second one is social science citation index. This is also a very standard list of journals which are uh, categorized under social science citation index. A journal can be both indexed with social science citation index as well as in the science citation index expanded so that that is uh, that is a good thing and third uh, category is there which is called emerging source citation index so here this is not a standard list of journal any journals can enter into this uh, uh, emerging uh, list of uh, source citation index and uh, uh, most commonly, it is perceived as Web of Science Journal. Uh, it is wrong. Actually, they are not Science Citation Index expanded. They are not listed under SCIE. They are just indexed under the Emerging Source Citation Index, which is though which comes under Web of Science, but do not have the eligibility to claim themselves as uh, journals which are eligible for uh, this, uh, we say, uh, the required for... Uh, um, PhD publication. So emerging source citation index have very, very substandard uh, journals also. So there are some predatory journals also listed in emerging source citation index. So please do not publish your articles and waste your articles with emerging source citation index, which is not a uh, standard body. Whereas the other two, social science citation index and science citation index expanded are the expected categories in which you have to publish. So in this video, we are going to see how to see whether your journal is indexed with web of science or not. For example, we will take our case of physical medicine and rehabilitation. So the, uh, the uh, um, spelling is very, very uh, important. If the spelling is not correct, then uh, you may not uh, find the, uh, the journal. So here we go. I search for archives of physical medicine uh, and rehabilitation. And uh, here we have some similar uh, articles, journals, sorry. And here we see the archives of physical medicine and rehabilitation. And you can clearly see it is indexed with science citation index expanded. So that means it is under the proper category. So this website, um, uh, the, the website, the mjl.clarivate.com is the one which can help you in guiding to know whether uh, the journals are indexed with Scopus or not. There will be a search box like this. Just type your uh, article here. Sorry, just type your destination journal here and search for the journal and you will get the related journals. In case if you are not aware of the uh, list of journals, what you're searching, uh, you can just put your uh, domain, uh, sorry for the mistake, physiotherapy. Okay, you can just type physiotherapy and you will get all the articles which are indexed with, uh, um, all the art, uh, journals which are titled with physiotherapy. So, and you can see that every journal is being mentioned whether it is indexed with science citation index or not. Here is one example of emerging source citation index. That means this journal is not actually a suitable journal for publishing your article. So this is Hong Kong Journal of Physiotherapy. Okay, so somehow the standards of this journal is less. Okay, is there any other uh, website where I can get more information? You can go to this letpub.com. This letpub.com uh, will help you in uh, searching for uh, good journals which are indexed in Science Citation Index. So I'm 
this time I rightly typed physiotherapy. Okay, so uh, you can come down here, you can see all these uh, um, journals. And here, what is the advantage? This, this website gives you the turnaround time. This turnaround time is not determined by the journal because sometimes the journal can claim themselves to have a very fast turnaround time, but this is determined by the publishers who have already published, uh, the, uh, the researchers who have already published here. And uh, you can see the competitiveness here. This competitiveness is medium. So that means this is not so easy journal to publish. And there is some moderate difficulty in publishing and the waiting period is more than 12 weeks. That is going to be very tough. Uh, above here, it will be showing that whether it is indexed with science citation index uh, expanded or not yet. So it is science citation index expanded. And uh, you can see some reviews also, some of the uh, researchers who have already published here. Um, and uh, you can see some reviews here. There are no reviews, but in some other journals, you can see uh, good reviews or bad reviews based upon which you can go with this. Uh, so if you see this uh, same thing, Hong Kong Physiotherapy, uh, Hong Kong uh, Physiotherapy Journal, this is not indexed with Science Citation Index, so it is clearly mentioned. This this website is highly uh, a useful website for uh, people because it also gives uh, information which is updated in Clarivet Analysis. So uh, when, you, when you come to this web of science, this is owned by Clarivet Analysis, uh, Analytics nowadays. Uh, once upon a time, it was uh, it was owned by Thomson and Reuters. Uh, now, still we call as Thomson Reuters, Thomson Reuters Index Journals, but that is wrong because it is uh, the Clar Clarivet Analytics have taken up this uh, particular ownership. So with this, we come to a conclusion of uh, how to search or how to verify whether a journal is indexed with Web of Science or not. And among Web of Science, what are the useful uh, um, uh, list of journals and what you have to avoid. Thank you so much. See you in another video. Thank you.